Hello everyone and welcome to iBasiac, YouTube's channel for all your vacuum cleaner news, views and reviews. Today it's an unboxing for you, another vintage vacuum cleaner, a vintage handheld mains powered Hoover Dustette. So without any further ado, let's open up this outer box. Hopefully it's got the original box inside here because that was pictured on the listing. I got this from eBay where I source the majority of my second-hand vacuum cleaners from. So just carefully slide the scissors into here and we'll see what we've got. It looks in pretty good condition. Well, it did on the pictures and um, it was on offer for £18, I believe, the seller had it for and I offered 14 and that offer was accepted so pretty pleased it should have the original box it should have the instructions too yes it's got the original box I can see it now it's model 2614C and unlike the Hoover Dustette I unboxed previously on the channel this is the metal bodied version and I have a feeling it's the late metal bodied version, it's sort of the last one that came out. I do have a Hoover brochure from 1982 that still has this in, so this lasted to the early 80s before 1984 when the plastic dustette was launched. This should be a UK manufactured dustette. It's quite heavy actually. Okay, so here's the box. Not a lot, it's made in Britain, so that's always nice to see. Not a lot to see on the box though. The word Hoover and the circular emblem are trademarks of Hoover Limited. So let's have a look. This is in a sort of a mustard yellow colour. First thing out, nicely packaged. We have the cloth bag which looks in pretty good condition. There's no internal. This has obviously been used. I would have thought I thought you could put paper bag in here, but I'm not sure actually now seeing it like this. I'll have to double check the instruction book, which should be in the box. So that's the cloth bag. Here is the nozzle, the all-purpose nozzle. Yes, it's amazing how photographs can make something look better than it is. Me thinks some photoshopping has been done, perhaps, I don't know. Anyway, it's fairly clean that, just needs a bit of a bit of a clean. Doesn't look very worn. These rubber teeth often would wear down after a lot of use. I've had nozzles that have been worn down to the nub really that are like this, so this hasn't had a lot of use by the looks of it. Here we've got the instruction and guarantee card. I'll just put that to one side and let's have a look at the machine itself. The flex looks in good condition. Needs a bit of a, a clean but it's it's fairly good. It's a plug fitted on it. Yeah, that's, it's okay, yes. All, all it needs really is a very, well, it doesn't really need, it doesn't even need a wipe. I'll give it a bit of a polish. But all in all, yes, it's pretty good. So it is quite heavy, but of course, it's metal. Quite comfortable, chunky hand grip. Got a little thumb operated on off switch. motors all behind here. Now when I was much much younger I did get an electric shock off a metal bodied Hoover Dustette. It was an earlier version to this. I can't now but back then I was able to get my fingers down the side. I don't know what I was doing but anyway I managed to touch an electrical contact and got a bit of a shock. I've obviously got bigger hands now because they work. I can't get my hands in there. There is very very slight bit of damage there 
but it's not not bad at all. Here's the rating sticker. I can't see that myself. It's Hoover model 2614C, 240 volts, 40 to 60 hertz, 140 watts. Serial number 2614709000278. Trademarks of Hoover Limited, made by Hoover Limited, Great Britain. So obviously this is the end where the nozzle goes. And just inside, I think it's a metal fan. Yes. Not sure if we can really see much. Trying to get some light shining. But anyway, you can see a, um, a bolt. And there is a metal fan here. And the nozzle just pushes on. You can buy optional tools for this. Any standard Hoover nozzle will fit on here from the old Hoover range, not current models, but any Hoover nozzle with a pip fitting should fit the dustette. And to release the nozzle you just squeeze this little metal collar and then you can just pull the pull the nozzle out like that. And we'll pop it back in for now. And then the bag just fits on like that and then we twist until it locks, there we go. So there it is, the Hoover Dustet, very pleased with that, for £14 plus postage. Pretty good condition. No damage at all to the cord, or this black cord relief, strain relief thingamajig. So that's good, I'm going to plug it in of course and give it a go. Well, it looks like it's had very little use. Here's the guarantee card we have to send off to 20 Wadsworth Road in Perivale, Middlesex. So, there's no date so far that I can see on the instruction book. This wouldn't have had a fitted plug. Oh, I, oh, I didn't realise you could, you could have got... Well, there's the toolkit. I'd love to have the toolkit. It even had, I didn't realise this, it even has there a carry strap. Not sure where that fits, it probably will say somewhere. Let's have a look. Oh, it's, is that it? Oh, that is it. That's, that's the instructions. Very surprising to empty the bag. Yes, I'm surprised. Because I've got, I'm sure I've got an earlier dust set to this that you can use paper bags in, disposable bags. So this is basically just a cloth bag. There's no internal paper bag. I thought there might have been something missing, but no. It does seem to empty the bag, blah, blah, blah. Yep, so that's it. There is no, no internal bag, so no bags to buy. Which does mean, of course, that this will get, in time, clogged up with dust. But whenever I've had old vacuum cleaners like this, I always use another vacuum cleaner to clean it out from time to time. I'm not sure if I'm going to wash this bag, and I'm just a bit wary that it might shrink. Okay then, I'm going to plug it in, and I have no reason to, to think that this won't work. Hopefully it will. It's... I'm not sure if that's off or on. I think that means it's on in that position and that's off. We'll soon find out. Okay, let's plug this old Hoover dust set in and see how powerful it is. Right, it was the off position, so it's in its off position. I've got it plugged in. I'm not getting any electric shocks from it, so I think I'll be okay. Here goes, let's switch it on. Surprisingly, I would say that that is less powerful than the plastic made in Hong Kong Hoover Dust Set that uh, you can find on my channel. I haven't got it out at the moment. I'll do, at some stage, I'll do a comparison video. I'll do a little demo video of this 
but I might do a little comparison video of an older Hoover Dust set up against the new one. But just doing this and sort of remembering back at my demonstration of the plastic dust set, I'm sure there's more suction in the plastic dust set than this one. I suppose what, he what doesn't help is when I block the end off, it's allowing air into that hole there so it maybe makes it feel slightly less powerful. There is a little seal, you can just see that little white seal around there to help seal the suction in. But yeah, for £14 I'm not going to complain. The motor sounds as it should. Nice and quiet, smooth running. So, oh, it smells like it's it smells like it's just dropped one. It's not an electrical smell. It just smells a bit like it's ooh, like its nappy needs changing. Don't you blow up on me? I've had an experience of late having a vacuum cleaner blow up on me, and it. Uh, wasn't much fun, I can tell you. Anyway, that's it. That's a quick video today, the unboxing. And first look at a vintage Hoover 2614C Dustet handheld vacuum. For more videos, please subscribe and you'll be updated every time I upload a new floor care video, which is normally now on a Monday and a Friday at 5pm. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'm also on Facebook. If you search Ibasiac on Facebook, you'll find my page with lots of behind the scenes pictures, uh, scans of old Hoover leaflets, photos, and other interesting things. If you like vacuum cleaners, that's the page to check out. You'll find a link below as well. If you have any questions about this cleaner, please ask in the comments section underneath. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.